the closes of Edinburgh, abundant and found all along the Royal Mile. Originally, they would have had locked gates to keep out anyone who wasn't a resident. Think of it as a gated community. Today, of course, they're open for anyone to walk up or down. However, back in November 1827, you would have been reluctant to do so, even if the gate was unlocked. Our story involves two Irishmen who found their way to Edinburgh. The pair ran a lodge together at Tanner's Close in a tenement building, not too dissimilar to this one. On a November night in 1827, one of the lodgers in the building passed away. He was known as Old Donald. He died owing one of the Irishmen four pounds in rent. He discussed the loss with his compatriot, with the pair deciding to sell Old Donald's body to Dr Knox at Edinburgh Medical School to recuperate the debt. The two Irishmen went by the name of Burke and Hare. The pair, hungry for more money from the sale of bodies, began a murderous spree. Rather than waiting for their tenants to die of natural causes, they made it happen themselves. Their method of execution became known as burking, the details of which I will spare you from in this video. Burke and Hare's spree claimed 17 victims. Ultimately, they were apprehended by police after lodgers discovered the body of Margaret Doherty hidden under hay and reported it to the police. This story is one of countless dark and grisly tales that have emerged from the historic old town of Edinburgh. You can hear all of these stories if you join us on our Halloween walking tours. We look forward to seeing you at the Market Cross.